you could be on the phone with them and you just feel inspired, you feel encouraged, you feel lifted, you feel invincible. Welcome to my channel. It's been a minute. I took a short break to work on a project and now I'm back. I really missed doing this. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. My name is Didi Witi. I'm a youth mentor and on this channel I give wisdom tips and encouragement so you can live your best life. And if you're new here, I welcome you. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Come on and join the family. And if you subscribe, make sure that you hit the notification bell so you are notified when I upload a new video. So I'm doing a two-part video. The first part will be a video about six types of people that you need in your life. Now the second video will be about six types of people you should avoid in your life. So today I'm starting with the first part, which is six types of people that you need in your life. So let's get into it. There's a quote that says, show me your crowd and I'll show you your future. In other words, we are a product of the people we surround ourselves with. So therefore we need to be very intentional about the people that we let into our lives. Here are six types of people you need in your life. People who uplift you. Ever been around someone who just shifts things in your spirit? You could be on the phone with them and you just feel inspired, you feel encouraged, you feel lifted, you feel invincible. They just inject energy into you. Their words elevate you. You need such people in your life. The next one is people who challenge you. This person, they keep it real. They are honest with you. They push you to do things that are outside your comfort zone. They don't tell you what you want to hear. They tell you what you need to hear. They keep you accountable. And when you mess up, they tell you, hey, listen, man, you messed up. You need to do better. Scripture says that open rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of the enemy are deceitful it's possible to only surround yourself with people who clap for you people who applaud you people who tell you how awesome you are the moment someone comes and corrects you they become your enemy you need people who can challenge you it could be a mentor it could be a parent it could be a friend the third type of people you need in your life people who believe in you this person is your cheerleader they hold your hand and encourage you on your journey. They believe in you. They believe in your dreams. They make you feel valued. They make you feel understood. They make you feel seen. They believe that you'll succeed. They think that you can do anything. You don't have to prove anything to them. They think you're amazing. You know, they tell you things like, you know what, I know you have what it takes. You have what it takes to do that job you have what it takes to succeed in school in college you have what it takes in that relationship they tell you i see you doing this this person can be a parent or they can be a teacher they can be your employer and because they believe in you they are going to invest in you so they invest their time they invest their money they invest their love they invest their gifts not many people are in this category so if you have them value them personally i have several people in this category in my life and i really really value them i am so grateful for them number four people who develop you they help you grow spiritually mentally financially whether it's relationship wise there are people who have gone before you they've done what you're trying to do 
they have achieved what you're trying to achieve. So they're like, I see you trying to do this. This is how you do it. And so you look up to them and they inspire you. It could be a mentor, could be a consultant, it could be a spiritual leader in your life. It could be a YouTuber that you're trying to learn certain things from. It could be an author and you're reading their books and you're also trying to learn certain things from them. Number five, people who are loyal confidants. You need someone that you can trust, someone who is loyal, they are a good listener. You can open up to them about anything. They will not judge you, they will not go gossiping to others and telling them things about you. They love you unconditionally, they pray for you. We all need people like those in our lives. And the last one, people who you teach. You need a student. You need someone you're mentoring. You need someone you're teaching something in your life. Life is not just about take, take, take. What are you giving in return? You're pouring what you're learning into them. You're helping them. You're showing them the way. You're helping them see things clearly. You need a student in your life. In conclusion, I'd like to say this to you. If you have these types of people in your life, value them appreciate them. If you don't have them, look for them. And it's not just enough for you to be on the receiving end. Make sure that you're also playing these roles in other people's lives. I have a question for you. Currently, can you identify people in your life that fall in these categories? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video with someone. Until next time, bye.